Stained glass nails? Yeah, stained glass nails. I'm not gonna lie, these are f***ing sick. Oops, I mean, no swearing on the internet allowed. I was inspired by glitter fingers. She has lots of fingers, at least three of them, on Instagram when she made this beautiful rose stained glass look. But we all know, since pretty florals aren't really my thing, I made this abstract, kind of floral looking, but not really, hollow glitter stained glass extravaganza. Start off with a plain black base, blah, blah, can't speak today. Start off with a plain black base coat. One of these days I will do a what's the best black polish, but until then, my current favorite is Colt Nails Nevermore, but sadly, Colt Nails has shut down forever and all their polishes are discontinued. Which means I will have to do a what's the best black so I can find myself a new black, eventually. Once your black is dry, whip out your crappy acrylic paint. I get all mine from the local craft store and even though you guys are telling me I should probably get proper acrylic paint, I'm still too lazy to have done so. So I put a bunch of colors on a yogurt container lid, whipped out my new brush kit from Twinkle Tea, and randomly started drawing on a pattern as a guideline for the glitter that I was gonna put on after. Now this is the part where like it truly does not matter if you know how to paint. In all seriousness, look at the literal mess I'm painting on my nails. A bunch of colorful blurbs of chalk drawn by a three-year-old in kindergarten. All right, so once you've drawn your masterpiece with your different colors of acrylic paint, you're all done. Look at that, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're not anywhere near done. We've got five hours to go. But let's take a break before we get going and stare at all this hollow glitter I got from Twinkle Tea. Oh my god, they're so pretty, they shine all the rainbows in the light, and there's even a holographic double T on the front of the bottles. Oh yeah, pour the gold into the massive glitter rainbows. I use a fan brush for you guys to spread it out a little and make it nicely framed for a great visual shot. Mmm, playing with the focus feature on my lens is fun. I'm getting high already from staring at all this hollow glitter. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I will not be held responsible for you passing out on your desk as a result of staring at too much hollow glitter. Good news for you guys, I found a couple of the hollow glitters I used on Twinkle Tea's site for sale. That's right, you get a few bucks off. And you can get even more off, 10% to be exact, when you use my code SIMPLY at checkout. So this is what it looks like when you think I'm picking up the glitters. And this is what it actually looks like, because I had to move the glitter out of the way so I could film my nail. So you better say thank you, Christine, for giving me a very satisfying on-screen hollow glitter experience. Meanwhile, I had to suffer by straining my eyes to pick out every single color from this stupid piece of white paper that I threw all the glitters on. Alright, let's do this, bitches. Take a clear polish, not a top coat. More on why in this video on how to do a glitter placement for beginners. Paint it on one small section on your nail, and then grab a toothpick, lick the tip of it, and use it to pick up every hollow glitter one by one, placing them on the nail, and then they'll stick right down to the clear polish that you just put on. Make sure to work quickly on this, because the clear polish can dry in approximately a minute. That was my serious instructional tone. How'd I do? Did you learn something? Even if you didn't, then you still get to watch me place a million glitters on my nails that you're never gonna do in your real life anyways. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Unless you're me, and you have no life, and your best friends are cats. So now that that, I don't know what to call it, circular component part of this design is out of the way, let's try the somewhat petal resembling pieces. So as you can see, I'm working small section by small section, and by doing this, the clear nail polish doesn't dry up too fast, and I have enough time to keep placing glitters of different colors. The only problem with doing this is that sometimes you go colorblind because of all the hollow, and you put on the wrong color, like I just put red when I should have put gold. And I blame this mess for that. There we go, gold goes where it's supposed to. Moving on up, or down, whatever angle you're watching this video. At this point, I was already regretting my decision to do these nails, but I had faith that the end result would be worth it, and that the YouTube video would get a bunch of views. I mean, in all seriousness, how many YouTubers do you hear saying, Oh my god, I love my fans so much. Like, I wish you guys could come live with me and be my bestie. 
Really? All they mean is that they want your views. Don't you understand? YouTubers make money from people watching their videos. Okay, so the next time a YouTuber tells you that they love you so much, what they really mean is, I love it when you click play on my videos because I get some money. At least you know all the money I make from my channel is going to a good place. That being Menchie's college fund. Okay, I should probably stop telling you all the secrets that YouTubers hide from you. But this glitter placement took a long time, so I had to say something to fill up the time. Otherwise, it's just so awkward watching someone do their nails without saying anything. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. Just gotta do the ends. Gonna do them with Black Hollow. Yeah, Black Hollow is so freaking awesome. I don't see Black Hollow glitters around often. What's interesting is that the angle that the light is hitting it when I'm putting it on the nail that you see on screen isn't really showing the hollow, but the second it starts to shift in the light, Black Hollow shows like mad rainbows. For real people, mad rainbows that have gone insane. Let's finish off the rest of the nail with another rounded looking thing. As you can tell, I'm not really being that careful in my placement of glitters that are kind of sticking over top of each other and overlapping, but it doesn't really matter, you'll see once we put the acrylic paint on, but the messiness doesn't have that much of an impact on the final effect. Alright, that's it. You've just completed five hours of your life. Can you see the effect? Can you see what the picture is supposed to be? Nope, neither can I. Just looks like a cluster fuck of rainbows to me. Add a glossy quick dry top coat, because we're going to add acrylic paint on top of the top coat. The reason why we put the top coat on now is to create a nice smooth surface to paint on. Let that fully dry. It should only take about 15 to 20 minutes as long as you are using a quick dry top coat, which you better be because I tell you to in all my videos. Take a thin-ish paintbrush. I use one of mine from my Twinkle Tea brush pack. Dip it in some black acrylic paint and start outlining your shapes in between the different colors of the hollow glitters. Now you could use black nail polish here, but I tend to prefer to use acrylic paint because it's easier to work with. It applies smoother and you can scratch it off with a toothpick if you accidentally put on too much. So as you may know, I can't actually freehand paint that well. So it's a good thing that the glitters were organized in a way that makes absolutely no sense and there's no discernible pattern. And this is what I mean by being able to scratch off acrylic paint if you put too much on. Right after you paint it on, you can easily just take a toothpick and scratch little bits off. But do be careful because the glitters are kind of like 3D, or textured rather, that they kind of stick out of your nail. So you can't press too hard or else you'll end up potentially popping a glitter off. Depending on how crappy your black acrylic paint is, I recommend doing a second coat over all your black lines to make sure that the black is very opaque. A little scratchy scratch here, and another scratchy scratch there. And you are done, my friend. You are done with all the hard work. And now you get to enjoy one of the most satisfying parts of doing a glitter placement. Just go ahead and slide that glossy top coat right on, girl. Brings out that hollow glitter shine even brighter than Kim Kardashian's ass in one of her latest photo shoots. Oh, it's so beautiful and rainbow. The most puzzling part about these kinds of nails is that there's inevitably going to be people who click the dislike button. Will the dislikers please leave their address below in the comment section so I can come to your house and kill you? I'm just kidding, I'm not actually going to kill you, but I will take a large envelope of hollow glitter and throw it in your face, and then on your grave, and then I'm gonna dance on your grave with my nails, with a bunch of halogen lights flashing. But the party always comes to an end, and eventually you know you've got to clean up. There comes a sad time in all nail art addicts' life when you got to take off that beautiful mani you just did because you want to do another beautiful mani because you're addicted to doing your nails. I wore these nails for three full days and then popped them off just as easy as Miley Cyrus likes to pop some Miley before hosting the VMAs. I know you guys share my special satisfaction in seeing these glitter nails come off. So here's a couple more for you. Ooh, this one had a bouncing back effect. It doesn't want to leave my nail. Oh yeah, what a clean, clean pop that one was. 
As you can see, there's oil on the inside, which is actually because I oiled up my nails real good before popping them off. It helps undo the stickiness of the peel-off base coat that I use to take off my nails. No, they're not fake nails, guys. You saw me put them on. They're real, clearly. You can watch this other video I made on how to use this peel-off base coat and a couple other things you need to know about it. I put a link down below to my favorite peel-off base coat if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. And here's more Menchi so I can shut up the people who complain that Menti is no longer at the end of my videos. Here, are you happy now? You got some kitten cuteness? Good, time for some nail porn.